Good evening, everybody. Good evening, world. Good evening, Europe. Good evening, all my English uh, guests and the listeners. So today's webinar will be about about a revolutionary technology that has come here to stay to rock the world, and and about its development. And of course, I will share you very important information, uh, awesome news, awesome uh, footage from uh, from our second demonstration and certification center, which is located in United Arab Emirates, to be spe specific, in Sarja. So yes, we're going to look um, just a bit about how how development is going on, and then we will continue with a brief uh, insight to history, and and of course we will take a look at different technologies that uh, well can say are are somehow similar to our technology or, or yes basically yeah so similar technologies which mostly have rails. And then afterwards, we will take a look at the seven reasons why Skyway is here to stay. And as you can see behind my um, back there, uh, is, is displayed as well our tropical unicar. And then that's just one of the tracks available at the moment, but there are many other as well. So, all right, let's start. A little bit about myself. My name is Michael. I'm from Estonia, and I have been uh, well, a Skyway um, uh, investor and as well a promoter, active partner to Skyward community for uh, for about four years now. It has been a long journey, but it has. Well, it is. It has been fulfilled with all different kind of emotions, joy and uh, and achievement as well. Since well, when I started, when I first became investor, or when I first heard about heard about the technology Skyward uh, Skyward technology, then I immediately thought that. Oh my God! This is exactly the technology which we need, which humankind needs, and now we see that uh, it has proven itself in so many ways. And then, since we have, as I mentioned before, two, we have two different located in two different places. One is in Belarus, and uh, the other one is in United Arab Emirates. So we have two uh, certification and uh, demonstration centers. First one in Belarus is called uh, Eco Technopark, and the second one in Sarcha is called Innovation Center. So yes, and my uh, I myself I have uh, I have had the honor to visit both of these uh, demonstration and certification centers, and it has been really really great to be there because, uh, well, uh, in Belarus I got the chance to ride with uh, with Unibus and with Unicar as well, up high, about 50 meters uh, from the ground. So it, it, was, it was amazing how smooth it is and how many people gathered there. So, and, and that the event itself was, uh, uh, well, they, they are holding uh, this, or, 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 or um, well, the leaders uh, held this event um, uh, once a year before coronavirus. So once a year, everybody, all the investors, uh, got the chance to go to Belarus, to Minsk, or near Minsk in Marina Gorka, where, and to see all these technologies and these achievements with their own eyes. But now we have this chance with United Arab Emirates of course, uh, to get uh, well, to get the permission to go there, yes, everybody ha have to have the special permission. So there are different campaigns which our company is doing, and you can you can take a look at those campaigns in your back office because they they often 
occur there when when these uh, campaigns or promotions take place. So whenever this chance is possible again, I urge and recommend you to to take part of it definitely because it is really awesome. But all right, let's continue. Here it is, our technology. One photo of it. This is animation, of course. Since we have these two demonstration certification centers, uh, then only there are different tracks. In uh, in Marina Cork, we have uh, about one kilometer track, but we have different about seven different tracks uh, there, and then uh, more than seven different models are certified as well already by Belarusian and Russian standards. And in United Arab Emirates, we have at the moment we have one track, 400 meter track, but uh, uh, two other tracks should be uh, well finished. The construction of them should be finished in the end of this year or in the first half of, of the next year. So let's see how that that takes place. But yes, and one model, the Tropical Unicar, is certified as well by United Arab Emirate uh, standards. But now, yeah, so as I mentioned, first track uh, is completely finished. That one is 400 meter track. And now the process of the track uh, second construction is Sarja, which will be 2.4 kilometers long, as well as the track number four, which uh, will, I have brought some pictures of it as well here. But um, basically, this is the main station. What you see here, almost everything is finished except uh, the placement of rails it has to be done yet, and then the afterworks, the well, exterior, uh, the beauty, beauty work, so to say, to the building. Here it is from another angle. Yeah, it looks it looks very nice, and it's possible to see it when we drive well through the road. Which is next to the well, next to the big area where they are uh, at the moment. They're building new tracks, and where and then when we uh, well ride with our cars uh, through that highway, there it's possible to see these buildings and tracks as well. That's that's really awesome. So whenever you get the chance to go to United Arab Emirates, go check it out. This is Sarcha Innovation Center. If you put that into Google Maps or, or any other um, app, then you will find the place. Of course, again, entering the property, so to say, or the area is prohibited without special um, or specific um, well, uh, agreements. But uh, but uh, seeing it from ulterior side as is possible as well, and it, it looks very nice. So, and then there will be a depot container at the Sargent Design Center, which will look like this. So this is uh, said by many scientists and, and politics as well, and businessmen, that this will be a revolutionary technology because, well, if we think about how, how the sea containers are transported nowadays, then, well, firstly, the average speed is extremely low because well with the ships it cannot be very high as well as with trucks where there is traffic constantly traffic jams uh, mandatory stops resting stops for for the drivers and, and then of course the train is is the third wi widely used option for for sea containers and that one as well does not occur, occur such say speeds or such a speed like Skyway. So Skyway can go up to 150 kilometers per hour, transporting sea containers and on both sides of the track structure as well. So if we compare it, for example, with train, actually it doesn't matter, is it train, truck or, uh, or ships? Uh, they all have this well, one bath there. And then, uh, well, maybe it's, most simpler to compare it with trains because train well it has one rail pair and one specific train can can uh, take a journey on one specific uh, 
uh, rail pair. But here with Skyway, we can use both sides. We can use the upper side, we can use the lower side, so the hanging uh, version. So we can use both sides of rail, the rails simultaneously. So that means it's twice as effective as the other transportation systems already. Now the speed, which is about uh, three or four times higher, the average speed than with the other technologies, then the loading uh, or the unloading docking time. So basically this uh, can be under one minute. So, and we have no driver there. It all is remotely controlled from, from the stations. So that's also very great to understand. Yeah, here it is from one picture more from another angle. And now let's continue with them. Um, uh, with the track number four in Sacha, where the rails are being installed, and I just brought these pictures to you just to show how this is done, or at least you can get a glimpse how, how they are doing this, how this placement is, uh, is taking place. But here, as you can see on these pictures, this track is very long, it's 2.4 kilometers long. Mm, the supports for this specific track, I can see here, they are about uh, 200 meters. From each other but for the heavy track for the sea containers they have to be a little bit closer about 50 meters from each other but with this model for example which is here uh, next to me behind me those as you can see here as well i try to well these supports there they are like buildings and this is also one plan to to build this kind of platforms on which there are higher buildings and they can be even placed on the water which will all be connected with skyway transportation system so with that solution these supports can be up to two or even more kilometers uh, from each other so so the distance so basically we can go from one place to another and there are no supports on on the road for a few kilometers but here it, it all of course depends on the way of the of the models but yeah it's basically like a bridge uh, there are pre-stressed strings mm, inside these metal frames uh, rails basically uh, and those uh, those will work like uh, as, as a bridge like like a, constru a construction of bridge so basically it holds this track structure above and does not need so many supports so for example like with monorail which is uh, one other technology which I'm going to talk talk to you about quite soon. But yeah, here are also some some more pictures. So as you can see, despite the coronavirus um, situation around the world, now there are mm, these uh, well, people are afraid of, of another war uh, coming up and so on. So despite all these negative events, we can say our pullbacks, we still continue work. Uh, Skyway constantly constructs new roads, certifies new models, uh, and there is also a high-speed model which should go up to 500 to 600 kilometers per hour, but that one needs more than 20 kilometers of track structure, so that one is also planned uh, in, in the future. So we have uh, a great work ahead of us, a great work has already done, but uh, as we can say that the proving point is, is been made, that uh, everybody knows who, who will well, focus on the technology and, uh, and wants to or digest more information than just looking at some pictures, and uh, then those will understand that the breakpoint has been made. We have achieved enormous, enormous amount of, uh, of different goals, and further on, we will start um, well implementing or placing these commercial tracks globally. I believe, firstly, in United Arab Emirates and in tropical climates, as well in well in Asia, for example, uh, and so on, and later on the European side. 
of course the east side as well so because we are global global transportation technology or, or the company yeah here are more also some more more some pictures so it's it's great great to see that the work goes on very well and with all this great news in the first hand we have another one here in front of you so basically we are moving on to the next uh, stage so uh, and then to the next sub stage so basically we have five more days to get the perfect or, or the, the best discount we can get um, today discount basically means that uh, this is the number how many shares we will receive for each invested dollar so yes everybody us have have the opportunity to become an investor as well so to benefit in the future from the profits made from different commercial projects those will be divided uh, or shared with investors of course uh, via dividends so it is well extremely important or very very great to to get this uh, well this knowledge that we can become part of such a global company and whenever well we will start receiving dividends they probably won't stop because the tracks are uh, lasting at least uh, 50 to 100 years so whenever they are placed they are there for uh, another 50 to 100 years which means profits for the company which means dividends for the investments but only when we have invested at the right time so go to your back office take a look five more days we have this uh, sub stage afterwards we can also invest but the discount will be much lower so we will receive um, not that many shares as we do today yes but all right, let's now continue to the main part. And the uh, main part introduction is uh, here. So basically about 100 years ago, one uh, visioner pictured our future, as you can see on this painting, on the screens in front of you. But uh, what, what, so basically this painting should describe nowadays. So what the, basically the year we have today, but 100 years ago was made. So uh yes so why not i see many similarities and then what i also always like to describe uh, with this picture is that today we have perfect first level infrastructure systems technologies at least in developed countries i mean in europe for example in united states canada and so on and in many developing countries as well already so this this goes on very in very rapid place uh pace yeah so basically we have all these uh, automobiles we have these tramways trains mm, we have the underground transportation systems metros for example or subways and and uh, because of the population coming to move more and more people coming to move more and more to the cities to to get to work to live there mm, and the next generations are are uh, well uh, growing up and that all causes new challenges new problems we can say because we just well we just cannot tear down the old ancient buildings to construct new roads there to widen the roads uh, and therefore we need new solutions and what would be uh, another perfect solution than uh, than going to the second level so that's what we are we have uh, came here to to resolve what Dr. Anatoly Yunitsky, who is the creator of this technology, uh, will change about the world is that we are going to the second level. We're going there with a safe, um, uh, well, solid transportation system, which does not only attract tourists, but also serves people, serves uh, companies and so on uh, more efficiently than we have done it uh, today with our today's technologies but more about all of this during the webinar yes now let's see what people have done so far so the normal trains of course built on the bridges and then on the right side that's monorail uh, that one might also be one of the most similar ones to the skyway well mostly because of its shape and then um, well 
more similar maybe is even tramway but tramway is on the first ground but monorail is on the second ground therefore i have brought out monorail here to to be more specific about but here take a look at the massive enormous uh, shape of the rails or the construction they are so big very heavy the supports as well as you can see here I think I have another picture, yes, here as well. You can see up again the supports there after every 50 meters to hold all this heavy weight about, about the, well, to hold the track structure basically up in the air. And then the monorail itself is not that fast. I think I have a very great comparison here to show you, yes. So here you can see the track length basically is up to 50 kilometers with monorail. With Skyway, we have unlimited. USD means you need to string technology. But we have unlimited track length. So basically what Unitsky wants to, or what's uh, again one of the vision of his and of the companies to build Transnet. This is basically a network of uh, hundreds of thousands of kilometers of, uh, of Skyway track structure. Second level string. Uh, track structure so therefore it's unlimited the track length then the maximum speed we already covered uh, inside the cities with this model specific model which you can see on the slide here as well on the left side uh, we can go up to 150 kilometers per hour and uh, the the high speed transportation model which is meant for well for longer distances like an express train or something that one can go up to 500 to 600 kilometers per hour the testings have been done inside uh, well uh, facilities but outside on the track um, itself it will for five to six hundred kilometers per hour it needs about 10 kilometers speeding length then then uh, five to ten kilometers uh, the holding length to collect the data and to see well what's happening and then the breakdown uh, length of track as well. So therefore about 25 kilometers track is needed. And that one, well, the construction uh, is set to, to start uh, in the future, but when exactly yet, I don't know as well. Then another important element, which I also a uh, little bit covered before is the rolling stock mm, topic where basically we have self-driving mobiles so we do not have driver inside the cabins and they are all remotely controlled from from the uh, control station then traffic interval and traffic capacity is very important to understand because uh, when we well Maybe it's best when I describe you a situation from real life. For example, in Japan, Tokyo, there are uh, higher. Uh, well, there are people who are called pushers. Those pushers are hired by the government to basically push last people on the subways. So, so they are the subways or the, or the well, the cabins or the models are so fulfilled with people. They are so tightly packed there, so that last people need to be pushed. To get on board so but with skyway we have this chance that uh, whenever there will be rush hour we have basically a um, a tracks a track structure or a station where we will maintain and repair and uh, will um, charge the batteries for the models so basically a a different different track structure different stop which well, the passengers do not use, but whenever the traffic flow goes higher or, or more and more people are coming to the stations, those models which are staying at the moment in the, well, remotely in the, in the another station will start and will come out from the station and start serving people. So whenever there is a traffic, well, the traffic flow uh, the number of people which which will go from one place to another that one uh, that will rise dramatically the new models will come from different stations to serve those people as well so there will be about 20 to 15 seconds the traffic interval so basically i go on i will drive off then uh, another one comes 
uh, right directly, directly another Unibus or Unicar, another model on which we can uh, the next people can go. And, the, and after the rush hour, when there is again the, the flow of people will go down, those models which need charging, repairment, and so on, those will go to the station. So basically, that one is also great for not doing empty rides and so on. And traffic capacity rises. We, we can say that it's even higher than with subways, so which is which is great. So we will solve a million different kind of uh, problem or challenges with this technology. That's that's why it's it's very amazing. Yeah, here's one picture of of subway. Then in Germany we have this Wuppertal technology, also second level technology. Then in China we have this is basically like a tramway, uh, just upside down, going on a second level. But by its technology, technological parts, it's it's basically a tramway. Yes, well this is a cable car here on the um, well on the right side. It this this slide totally or fully describes cable car technology. It's just used in different kind of situations, different kind of me methods, like you can see like in ski resorts or in cities where there are very sharp hills, they use this kind of technology like on the left side. And well, the most popular one on the right side up there is, is cable car, yes. So I have tried myself through, well, driven myself in many places, or I have seen in many places these technologies, for example, in Turkey, then in Romania, I know there is, in Russia, there is, in the United States, there is, and then in Thailand, there is as well one. The longest one is uh, on Fukuoka Island. But uh, there is just a one, one uh, well, problem with that technology is that the car itself do not move on the cable. The cable moves. The car is like sued to the cable. And as you can see on the right side, or have you seen in ski resorts, there are these big uh, engines or wheels which will spin and pull the string or the cable, and then the cars move. So that's that's the technological part here, and that makes it also a little bit or much more dangerous than with Skyway because Skyway, with Skyway, we have its uh, every model has its own motor wheels, uh, its own batteries, derailment systems, and so on. So basically, the track structure stays the same, like with tramway or like with uh, train rails, but the models move on it. So that's why also with cable cars, the average speed is about 15 to 20 kilometers per hour. So that's already about five times less with our 150 kilometers per hour models. So yeah, they're great for touristic attractions, these cable cars, but that's mainly the only reason there as well. Yeah, here it is. It's possible to see from this picture as well. First of all, it's a very nice picture, and uh, I was there as well when that uh, was made. But here you can see these elements in in the nose and in the back end of of the model. So they will attach with, if necessary and wanted, they will attach with each other, hundred percent. So if anything happens with one model, it can be either pulled or lift uh, to the station. And to the repairment, yeah, station which we also talked before. So yes, that's that's great news. So welcome to the new age, I can say. And today we will end our webinar here. And already in two weeks, just one hour earlier, uh, our webinar starts in two weeks. Then we will discuss the seven points why Sky is here to stay. I will bring out some uh, some most important news as well from from the recent history, and then I will share this news to you. And afterwards, we will take through the whole seven points of of Skyway and and why it's here to stay. And and I will talk more about the elements uh, which are located inside the cabin and and so on. So because there are all these uh, cameras 
which will screen the surroundings and gather information, motion cameras and so on, 360 degrees. So there are many safety aspects which you need to know and then so on. So therefore, it's it's very, very great to, to see you again already in two weeks. Yes, so here it is as well. One last slide, Dalai Lama gave also his blessings to Dr. Antoniski and said that uh, this path you have chosen, this developing this technology, uh, it's not going to be easy, but eventually you will succeed because the world really needs this technology of yours. So with these great words, I invite you again to, to come and listen to my webinar, which will take place exactly in two weeks on 27th of October and 6 p.m. Uh, GMT plus two time zone. So check it out to what time exactly it is in your in your country. And I believe this will be recorded as well and uploaded to YouTube. So who does not make, well, have the chance to come to the live uh, presentation, then you can take a look afterwards uh, through YouTube. Yes. So thank you again everybody for coming and see you already in two weeks stay say stay safe stay healthy and i wish you a lot of success and of course go take a look at your back office uh, the campaign because we are going to the next sub stage so well if if uh, if you have had that thought to invest into the company or invest more then this is the perfect time to do so but all right see you and goodbye.